23 PC building tips for 2023. Let's go. And starting with number one, you want to activate your windows from our sponsor. Yes, included na rin yun sa mga tips, but it is a legit tip. They're a good service. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Number two, don't be afraid to consider the previous generation which still has excellent performance. We're talking about the Ryzen 5000, Intel 12th Gen, NVIDIA 30 series. All of those guys have excellent performance. Hindi man ibig sabihin na bagong taon, kailangan tumalon ka agad sa pinakabagong generation. Plus, what makes the previous gen even more attractive aside from their performance is their price. Bumagsak ni mga presyo nila and that feeds into their value proposition. Mas value for money sila ngayon. Instinctively, we want the latest and the greatest but that might not be the best option depending on what you need, depending on the target of your rig. But if you really want the latest generation now, just wait a little bit for the next next gen. And what I mean by that is it's the second wave of the current generation. For example, yung Ryzen 7000 series, lalabas na yung mga non-X variants nila, which might be better value for money. Lalabas na rin yung X3D versions, which are supposed to have excellent performance if the 5800X3D is anything to go by. Ganun din yung Intel. Maglalabas na rin sila early part of this year. Nung 13th gen pa rin, pero more affordable options, non-K, F variants. Same thing goes with NVIDIA. Yes, it's still the 40 series, pero lalabas na yung 4070 Ti, probably the 4060, maybe even the 4050, if some rumors are to be believed. Yes, lumabas na yung next gen, but yan yung mga fastest, most expensive possible. But itong second wave of the next gen, ito yung mas value for money. The brands have also adjusted their prices accordingly. The next wave of the next gen usually brings the prices down for everybody. So if you really need the latest, just wait a little bit more. Even if you're not interested that much in what's coming, they might bring the prices down of the high-end parts that you do want. Number four is the same advice year in and year out. Kahit anong taon, kahit anong build, get yourself an SSD. I can't stress and I've repeatedly stressed. <laughs> Everything is much faster, especially kung sanay ka pa rin from a hard drive. Any year, any build, any advice, get yourself an SSD. Number 5 for gaming, the sweet spot for RAM is still 2x8, 3600MHz DDR4. Yes, it's very tempting to go DDR5, 6000MHz, 2x16, but really a lot of the games don't benefit. Wala ka masyado makita na performance gains from going with more expensive RAM. Gusto mo bagong hardware, but for most rigs, for most games, the venerable recommendation 2x8, 3600MHz. Number six, regarding PSU, what is a good kind of base requirement? 750 watts is still very acceptable for a lot of gaming rigs. Yes, you have the 40 series na power hungry talaga. You have the 13th gen, 7000 series ng Ryzen na power hungry. But even with all of those things, 90% of the builds out there kaya ni 750 watt PSU. And again, there's that fear na because bagong hardware, you're going to need more power. Of course, there are some cases where you'll need to go beyond 750 watts, but for the majority of systems, 750 watts is still very good. Stay with Windows 10. Yes, it was released in 2015, pero in our experience, mas stable pa rin si Win 10. Ang daming customers na pumapasok sa shop na nagreklamo na unstable yung system nila, and eventually we traced the fault kasi nag-upgrade sila to Win 11. 
So if you don't have any pressing need for some of the new features of Win 11, we recommend sticking with Win 10. I personally, naka Win 10 pa rin ako. Change is hard. And now I'm gonna be a jerk because tip eight is update to Windows 11. Yes, I know what I just said, but there are some reasons why you would want Win 11, the new interface or the new UI. There are certain features na wala sa Win 10. Rocky the programmer personally swears by Win 11. It is much newer, released in 2021. Most of the bugs from the initial release are gone. And inevitably, you will need to move to Win 11 because sooner or later, Microsoft is going to retire Win 10. Number nine, diversify your YouTube diet. Yes, we all love our Linuses, our Steves, our Pauls, our Kyles, our Dimitris. But there are many, many other channels na hindi kasing mainstream but also provide excellent features about hardware. Recently, lumalabas si Provoke Prawn sa feed ko. I don't quite know why, but it's hard to go wrong with the British accent. Optimum Tech, although Optimum Tech has gone quite mainstream lately. Larian's Choice is a criminally underrated source, especially for motherboards. Tech Testers, GGF Events, great builds, great video quality. Epos Box for testing or a wide variety of content. So these aren't small channels by any means, but they're definitely a lot smaller than the very mainstream channels. And it's these creators that can be a bit edgier or more exciting in their content because small comes with its advantages also. And if you're watching Hardware Sugar for the first time in this video, please do consider adopting us for 2023. Hit that subscribe button, like button, all of the usual social media things. 10. Don't chase PCIe 5. Yes, it's the latest standard and you might be tempted kung bibili na nga ng bago. Siyempre, gusto ko yung pinaka-latest. But at least for GPUs, there isn't actually any PCIe 5 ready GPU yet. Even the latest 40 series of NVIDIA is still PCIe 4. For storage, yes, on a theoretical level, may mga available na, na PCIe 5 drives, but it's very hard to find them out in the real world, out in the wild. And finally, for PSUs, paminsan tinatawag yung ATX3, the format that the RTX 40 series natively uses, paminsan tinatawag din yun as PCIe 5. But as we mentioned in other videos, while an ATX3 PSU is nice to have, gagana pa naman yung RTX 40 series safely even without a PCIe 5 PSU. 11, uso pa rin yung ITX but they're getting larger and larger. And it seems kind of silly kasi yung buong point ng ITX is para yung pinaka maliit na mainstream na possible. But as a consequence of the bleeding edge hardware getting larger and larger, yun nga yung RTX 40 series sobrang laki, the ITX cases have also gradually grown larger and larger over time. And you do have cases like the Fantex Shift XT that can change size depending on the kind of hardware that you put into it. So ITX is still very popular, but the size or the average size of the cases is growing. 12 still on ITX. Since it has become very popular, a lot of the brands have tried to make things easier for their customer. Yung ITX dati, you really had to make sure na kasha lahat. The case was so small, you had to make sure your tolerances were correct, your measurements were correct. But nowadays, we have ITX cases and ITX hardware that is streamlined. For example, the NR200P Max, which is an ITX case, but it already comes with a PSU, it already comes with an AIO. So we're seeing more of these built-in things to simplify ITX builds. 13, we get asked quite often kung itong specs ba to kaya mag-streaming. And most of the time, it's yes. Kahit medyo luma na PC mo, hindi latest gen, it can probably handle streaming. I know because I streamed for a long time using a very old i5-4690K, 4th generation Intel, modern games, kayang kaya. Your PC is more powerful than usually we give it credit for. So ngayong bagong taon, if you're thinking about buying a new PC or upgrading just for the purposes of streaming, your current PC probably can do that already now without any changes. Usually, yung mga nag upgrade lang for streaming are professional streamers. Yung mga kailangan ng capture cards, better graphics cards, CPUs with more cores and threads, multitasking. Usually, yung mga pro streamers lang yung talagang kailangan magbayad to get better quality streaming. But for the casual streamer, there's no need to upgrade or get a new PC in 2023 if that's the only thing you want to do in addition to what you're doing already. 
14, and the same goes for programming. We often get asked the question, ano ba yung recommended build namin for programming? Actually, don't need a lot of computing hardware for programming. Most of it is computational, yung pag compile mo na yung code. It depends also if you're doing game development, which is a type of programming also. But in general, you don't need very high-end specs for programming. Check if you have a current PC now, tapos inisip mo, oh, kailangan ko to para mag-upgrade. Or you're a parent, tapos sinasabihan ka ng anak mo na, oh, kailangan ko ng bagong computer kasi magsisiyas na ako sa college, and ganito, ganyan. Most programming isn't that computationally intensive. You don't actually need a very brand new cutting-edge computer for that. 15, so it might be a good idea to do some spring cleaning that includes your computer. Alam mo dito sa atin, dust is a common enemy. Pumapasok talaga yun sa case. It builds up in the fans. It decreases performance because as components get hotter, their performance goes down. We do offer general cleaning in the shop where we take a full computer, we break everything down, we remove all of the dirt, the grime, the dust, the cobwebs. Paminsan may nakapasok na doon na ipis, amoy ng darga, whatever. I mean, we've really seen some dirty builds. And we clean it all up, we reapply thermal paste to the CPU, and we throw in our patented cable management skills. And we also do GPU repasting. I'll be the first to admit, tamad ako tungkol sa cleaning. But, you know, if it's been one or two years since your computer was assembled and you just leave it in some dusty part of the house or the office, give your PC some TLC and have it clean. 16. Build with multiple monitors in mind. This is, this is not popular advice. You don't hear it said often. But a secondary monitor makes everything easier. You're more productive. If you're streaming, it's super useful when you can use your primary screen for the game and the secondary screen to monitor the stream. If you're working, same thing. Yun nga, anything you do on your computer is 10 times better, at least, with a secondary monitor. Tapos, this doesn't need to be expensive. Yun nga, yung secondary monitor, pwede second hand, pwede second hand TV, or basically any display that can use HDMI or display port, or even the older form factors like VGA or DVI. And if your PC has a graphics card, it doesn't need to be the latest graphics card. A lot of the older cards do have a lot of multiple ports. When people hear multiple monitors, kasi inisit nila, ah, mahal yun, di ko naman kailangan. It's true, you don't need it to run a computer, to use a computer, but once you have it, it makes everything so much easier. Tapos yun nga, di naman ganun kamahal yung upgrading in mind. It doesn't necessarily need to be expensive having a secondary monitor. So when you're building, do think about where will I put a secondary monitor? Will my GPU have enough port? How do I mount the thing? It will go a long way to your quality of life. 17, speaking of monitors, do check na tama yung resolution and refresh rate na ginagamit mo. Bali, wala lang kung bibili ka nung 144 Hz, 165 Hz na monitor na kaya mag 2K, pero yung settings niya naka 1080p at 60 Hz. Seems like a simple thing for enthusiasts. And kung sanay ka sa computer, medyo automatic na chin-check mo yun. But I see a lot of comments online na nagugulat na lang sila Bumili sila ng magandang monitor, two years down the line lang nila nalaman na, uy, kailangan ko pala check yung settings ng Windows to enable all of those features that your fancy monitor has. Simple step, but yes, sometimes people do forget to check it. 18, the eternal question, especially at the start of the year, should you buy a full rig na bago or just upgrade? It's very hard to talk in general. Kasi ang daming variation sa computer. And that's the nice thing about the hobby. You can really tweak and upgrade and swap parts in and out. So very difficult to give general advice without knowing the specific computer. Pero personally, kung below Ryzen yung AMD system mo, kahit Ryzen 1000, okay pa. Pero kung below Ryzen, I would suggest just getting a new system. Same goes for around Intel 7th Gen. Very roughly, Intel 8th Gen pataas. Malamang you kind of have a good graphics card, the RAM is still good, MOBO, if it's Intel, hard to upgrade, but you know, basically decent for what you have now. But anything below 8th Gen seems a little creaky already at this point. Price to performance, it would probably be better if you have that kind of rig, kung bumuli ka na lang nung bago. 19, Connected to the upgrade question is be afraid of the marketing hype. So, syempre, every time a new generation comes around, sinasabi ng mga brands that this is the latest and the greatest, you can't live without it, talong talo yung previous generation namin, tanga ka for even considering na bumili ng luma kaysa sa dito sa pinaka latest na generation. 
but don't be afraid to ignore that marketing hype. Siyempre, gusto nila na bumili ka. But for you, iba yung priorities. The priority of the brand is to sell a product. Your priority is to get value for money. So don't be afraid to ignore the marketing hype and don't be afraid to ask questions. Sa mga tech friends mo, sa mga shops na binibisita mo, and ask, is the Ryzen 7000 series really the best for my use case? Or okay na ba yung 5000 series? And if a shop is a good shop, if a brand is a good brand, they'll give you an honest answer. Number 20, ask questions. But there are customers that ask too many questions. Baka may magalit for me saying so, but I'm just gonna say it na may mga customers talaga na di mo masatisfy. Ang daming tanong. We've made videos about it before. And the problem with that is na Yes, it's good to ask questions when you're using it to inform yourself, when you're using it to improve your understanding of a component, of how everything comes together for a build. And those questions are good, those questions are fine, those are the questions that we like to answer. But when you're asking questions just for the sake of asking questions, it's like all of the answers just pass through you and you ask the same questions over and over again. Yung pinapakita nun, di mo talaga naiintindihan yung mga sagot nung shop or nung tech friend mo. And that doesn't help you also. The whole point of asking questions is that you can come to an informed decision about what you're buying. But if you're not processing, if you're not understanding, kung yung mga sagot just leads to more and more questions na paulit-ulit lang, di ka rin aabot sa point na you can with confidence say, ah, ito yung kailangan ko, ito yung gusto kong GPU, ito yung gusto kong RAM, ito yung gusto kong system. So, too many questions also is a sign that the customer is not doing his job. Because the customer does have a job, because at the end of the day, ikaw magsasabi, ah, tingin ko okay tong system na to. I trust the shop, but I also understood what they were saying, and I agree sa recommendation nila na ito dapat yung maganda para sa use case ko. 22, some parts last much longer than others. I'm thinking about monitors, PSU, storage. A lot of those parts, years, 5 years, 10 years, paminsan, magagamit mo pa rin. And you should take that into consideration when you do a new build. Can you have parts that you can cannibalize from your old system? Ako, personally, I do that all the time. Yung PSU, lilipat ko sa bagong system. Yung mga monitors ko, yung ibang sobrang luma na kasi linilipat ko as secondary monitors to my new rig. So again, this is kind of pushback against the hype na you always need the latest, the highest capacity. Not at all. You have a lot of old parts in your old PC na kahit in 2023, sobrang okay pa rin sila at magagamit mo pa rin sila. Even in a new system. 22, when most of us think about upgrades, we think about the CPU and the GPU. But actually, a lot of the quality of life of using a computer is in a different component. So, 22 is maybe your PC is fine now, you don't want to touch the main rig, but there might be a peripheral that you do want to upgrade and that will really improve your use of the computer. It doesn't have to be something crazy like a 48-inch OLED, but if that's what floats your boat, why the heck not? But you know, it can be a keyboard. Usong-uso yung mga customized keybees ngayon, baka you're thinking of diving into that scene. Or getting a new primary or secondary monitor, getting a new mouse, getting a new microphone or headset. Don't restrict your list of possible upgrades just to the very vanilla things like CPU, GPU, RAM, things like that. There are a lot of peripherals that can make your PC shine. Kung maganda na rig mo, get something that will make you appreciate it more. Para maramdaman mo talaga yung performance ng computer mo. 23, we all love computers, but perhaps the best building tip of all is find a hobby or an interest outside of the computer hardware space. Having different interests, mga healing outside of computers will enrich your computer life as well. Give you something to do other than obsessing about hardware or about specs for your games. This talking doesn't look like much, but this has been with me basically my entire life. My mom made this for me. But it's not mine anymore. I kept it, you know, I used it as a kid, I kept it, and now uh, it's my daughter's. But we recently welcomed another addition to the family, my son, who's six months old now. So wala na akong stocking na mamana sa kanya because I only had one stocking for my mom and I gave it to my firstborn daughter. So for 2023, my project will be to knit a stocking for my son. I have never done any knitting at all <laughs> or whatever 
Yun nga, these hands are not knitting hands. Wala akong alam. Ka, ni isang cross stitch sa buhay ko nagawa ko. But, yun, that is my outside of computer project for 2023. Hopefully, it will get done by Christmas 2023. I have the whole year to do it. So, hinay-hinay lang, slowly but surely. And hopefully, it lasts long enough that he can pass it on to his kids. Kasi kawawa naman yung second child ko, if he doesn't have the same kind of memento as my firstborn has, courtesy of my mom. So, for my mom, to me, to my daughter, and for my son, from me to him to his kids later on. Simula pa lang ng taon, everybody has their own New Year's wishes or resolutions or hopes for the year. I hope it will be good for everyone. Excited to tackle 2023. And if upgrading or buying a new rig is in your plans, don't forget Hardware Sugar. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.